What's up, you fat fuck? Welcome back. I gave you guys an appetizer last night. Now it's time for dinner, baby. Today, we're gonna be looking at another deathmatch from the fucking GOAT Alexander Nobiev. Matches from GCW and not Game Changer Wrestling in America, Gorky City Wrestling in Russia's Blood and Sand 4 in someone's backyard and against Russia. Alex is the fucking man. Not only did he reach out to me and send me this match without commentary so I could do a video on it, but he also provided me with translations for everything I asked him for. Trust me, I bugged the shit out of Alex getting these translations and he was completely fine with it and helped me out on every single one. The man works a full-time job and is a professional wrestler and still had enough time to help me out with this video. What a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. Alex told me the whole story for this match. He wasn't even supposed to wrestle on this show because he couldn't make it there, but he found a ride at the last minute and they drove him 10 hours to the fucking show. Sanchez and Nabiev are usually tag team partners, so they go the fuck in on each other in this match. We get a shot of Die Young Sanchez making his way to the ring with two light tube bundles in his hands and he puts them up in the air like a cross as the fans chant his name. <laughs> You hear Sanchez's music start playing from a little far away and then he makes his way towards the fans. Crowd loves Sanchez and he reaches over and starts giving him fist bumps. This match is taking place in the same backyard as the barefoot death match that I covered in my last Russian video. Link in the description. Sanchez climbs into the no rope barbed wire sand pit. Next, we get a shot of my fucking boy, Alex Nabiev, coming to the ring smoking a cigarette like a crazy motherfucker. Nabiev comes out armed with a kendo stick and he walks up to the fans and starts giving them high fives. Alex is like, it's party time, and he takes some dude's beer and chugs it. This dude is Gigi Allen re fucking carnated I love this motherfucker. Alex takes another big swig of beer and then he makes his way around the side of the ring and goes up to his boy Alexei and says what's good. <laughs> Alex takes another chug off the beer can as the fans break out into a Seven Nation Army Alexander Nabiev chant. Alex tells the fans he's just as shocked as they are that he's at the show as we see Sanchez in the ring setting up the light tube. Sanchez lifts up the barbed wire so Alex can climb in. As Alex takes a drag off his cigarette, Sanchez comes up and takes a swig of his beer and then Alex notices that someone's planking in the crowd and he goes out and does it with them. Alex shows off his sick round and pound and Sanchez climbs outside the ring and does it with them. <laughs> Sanchez seems to be a one pump chump as we see Alex getting his freak on with a cigarette in his mouth. Alex rises to his feet as the fans chant Nabiev and he spits out a fat loogie. He looks around and asks the fans for a smoke. <laughs> Alex points into the ring and the camera pans over to Sanchez holding a light tube and then the camera pans back over to a fan giving Alex a cigarette. Alexander Nabiyev! Alexander Nabiyev! Alex lights his smoke like a fucking badass and starts making his way towards the ring. Climbs through the barbed wire ropes and takes off his bandana. 
As Alex smokes a cigarette in the ring, he goes over and grabs a light tube out of the box and then takes the box and starts ripping it up. Sanchez holds up the light tubes as the fans chant his name. Fans break out into the Seven Nation Army Alexander Nabiev chant again. Alex picks up another light tube so they both have one in each hand and Sanchez tells him to break one over his head. Alex gives him the first light tube shot of the match. Sanchez returns the favor. Another hit to Sanchez. Sanchez fucking rocks Alex. Both men go to pick up two more tubes and Alex accidentally picks up three and he kicks the light tube off and then they do it all over again. Sanchez with the headbutt on that last light tube and Alex picks up his own and returns the favor. Alex is still smoking a fucking cigarette and the men grab two more tubes and do it all over again. Another four tubes down and the men grab four more. Alex feeling some pain and he breaks another over Sanchez's head. break all four tubes and Alex grabs another and headbutts it into his head. Sanchez grabs a broken tube, breaks it on Alex's head and he grabs a tube and holds it above his head challenging Alex so he grabs one himself and they break a light tube on their own fucking head. Oh fuck yeah and the men lock up with a collar and elbow tie up. Alex gives Sanchez some forearms and then he still has the fucking cigarette in his mouth and he takes it out and burns Sanchez's face. Yeah! Alex tries to brag and Sanchez blasts him with a tube. Yeah! Alex critiques Sanchez as Sanchez stands over him and breaks the tube over his head. We get a shot of a bloody ass Nabiev as the fans chant dueling Nabiev and Die Young Sanchez chant. Sanchez gives him a big kick to the back. Grabs another tube out of the pile and puts it on Alex's back and kicks the fuck out of it. Alex feeling the effects, but he takes another and breaks it over Sanchez. Alex grabs another tube and breaks it over his back. Takes a tube and headbutts it into Sanchez's back. You hear the Seven Nation Army chant as Sanchez walks around the ring in pain and then escapes to the outside. Alex climbs through the barbed wire and follows him right out. Gives Sanchez some forearms and rips his shirt off but matches up with him as he takes down the straps from his singlet. Sanchez comes back with his own forearms. Jesus Christ and Alex gives him a forearm back but Sanchez comes back and kicks him in the fucking face. Sanchez gives Alex a big forearm and we hear some jokes from Alex as Sanchez kicks a light tube bundle into his back. <laughs> Alex crawls on all fours as we see Sanchez picking glass out of his ass and he throws it at the crowd. Alex runs up and kicks him and then grabs like a shirt or some shit and starts choking him with it. Brings him over to the barbed wire and starts digging the barbs into his head. Alex just lays him on the ground and starts biting his forehead. Sanchez punches him in the face a few times and knocks him off. Alex looks over and sees a lawn hoe in a pile of dirt and he picks it up and he nails Sanchez in the back with it. He grabs the corner of the lawn hoe and starts digging it into his forehead. Alex sets down the lawn hoe and he picks up the thumbtack leather strap he brought with him to the ring and whips the fuck out of Sanchez with it. <laughs> Alex walks up and punches him with the thumbtack belt and grinds it into his back. 
Sanchez retreats and runs towards the fence as Alex follows and he walks up to him and grabs the thumbtack strap and starts punching him with it. Alex walks up and eats a big super kick. Sanchez blasting him with that big knee for talking shit. Walks back up to Alex and starts clubbing his back. Sanchez stands him up to his feet and starts walking him over to the ring. On the way there, he picks up a broken light tube and smashes it over Alex's head and starts grinding it into his forehead. Sanchez walks him around the ring and then pushes him into the big hill of dirt. You get a shot of a bloody ass Nabiev laying there on the hill and then the camera pans over to Sanchez with a pack of skewers. He starts stabbing Alex in the fucking head with it. Sanchez pushes the skewers into his forehead so they stay in place and then he fucking football punts his face. Bro, that was fucking ridiculous. Dude, this spot was so fucking dangerous. Here's another angle of it. Alex lays there with the skewer still in his head, and Sanchez comes over and says something to him and rips the skewers out. Sanchez walks over and grabs some light tubes and leans him up against the barbed wire rope. Sanchez walks up to Alex and stands him up to his feet and gives him a forearm. It looks like Sanchez is going for a vertical suplex into the tubes, but Alex puts on the brakes and he starts punching Sanchez in the stomach and then picks him up for a scoop slam. Biev leans over and grabs the broken bundle of light tubes and then takes his bandana and puts it on his head and smashes the tubes on Sanchez's back. Oh. Alex takes two broken tubes and starts slicing Sanchez's back. Oh. Alex breaks both tubes on his back. Oh. Fans give it up with another Alexander Nabiev chant as he goes over and picks up some more tubes and we get a shot of Sanchez. Alex speaks to the crowd and then starts unloading with the tubes. Alex hits him with a double light tube shot. Takes the broken light tube and starts carving up Sanchez's forehead. Sanchez walks over to the pool and Alex comes up and starts clubbing the fuck out of his back. Alex slapped his back so fucking hard and we get a shot of Sanchez in pain and Alex stands in front of him and starts giving him forearms. He stands Sanchez up and brings him over to the barbed wire contraption and starts setting up for a suplex. Sanchez puts on the brakes and then he gives Alex a low blow and he turns the tables on him and gives him the vertical suplex onto the barbed wire. Sanchez climbs on top of it and gives him a senton bomb. Alex lays there peacefully on the barbed wire and we get a shot of Sanchez walking up with two light tubes and he elbows him into Alex's stomach. Alex is literally laying on Russian barbed wire and he's like fucking laughing as we see Sanchez picking more glass out of his ass. 
We get a shot of Alex picking glass out of his chest, and then we see Sanchez walk up and pick him up off the barbed wire. He pulls Alex off and decides to get some revenge. Sanchez giving that chopper seat back to Alex, and he's not done yet. He goes over and grabs his thumbtack strap. Fucks with it for a second, and then nails Alex in the back. Sanchez just beats Alex with the fucking strap. Men walk around the side of the ring, and Sanchez walks up with a thumbtack strap and puts it to Alex's forehead. Sanchez stomps it into his head and then goes over to the ring and picks up more light tubes. Grabs one and breaks it over Alex's back. Alex cries out in pain, and Sanchez hits him with another. Sanchez grabs one more tube and puts it on Alex's head and smashes it. Alex comes back with a big kick to Sanchez's stomach, and then he grabs a roll of barbed wire and starts rolling it on his back. Alex channeling his inner Jim Carrey as he destroys Sanchez's back. Chucks the barbed wire and hits him with another broken light tube. Alex knees Sanchez in the back. Stands Sanchez up to his feet and gives him a big suplex into the grass. B of looking like a clone of Gigi Allen stands up to his feet. Alex gets a hold of his thumbtack strap again. Wraps it around his hand and then kicks Sanchez in the back and then starts punching him in the back with the strap. Alex walks up and whips the fucking shit out of him. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. And as Sanchez makes his way around the ring, he climbs in and Alex nails him in the back with a bundle of tubes. Alex climbs through the barbed wire into the ring and whips him so fucking hard. Dude, that was so fucking loud and he wraps the strap around Sanchez's head. Alex takes a seat in the dirt and lays Sanchez on his back and keeps digging the thumbtacks into his head. Sanchez clocks Alex in the face and the cameraman tries to get a better shot and we see Alex break a light tube on Sanchez's head. Sanchez returns the favor and the men go into another light tube war. Just over and over with the light tubes and broken light tubes. Both men go for another light tube headbutt. Both men are just a bloody mess, and Alex points to the crowd with a smile on his face. Punches Sanchez, but Sanchez gets up and grabs a bundle. Right to the fucking head, and Alex sits there wobbling on his knees, and Sanchez sees it and runs over to him and pushes him down and goes for the first pinfall of the match and only gets a two count. Alex ripping ass, and he drops some elbows on Sanchez. Stands up and grabs the kendo stick and starts putting in work. Alex grabs some tubes and he walks up and kicks Sanchez in the back and puts some tubes on his back, breaking one and breaks them all with the kendo stick. Another light tube kendo stick shot and Alex walks up and grabs the kendo stick and he pokes Sanchez in the back with it and then puts him in a sleeper hole with it. Kendo stick is not enough because Alex pulls a plastic bag out of his pocket and wraps it around Sanchez's head. Alex is literally trying to suffocate him with a sleeper hole with a plastic bag around his head. Sanchez makes a little hole in the bag so he can breathe as Alex puts a broken light tube to his forehead over the plastic. Alex decides to release the hold and he finally goes for a pin and only gets a two count. Fans are loving this as we hear the teams of both men chanting their names.
Alex grabs two light tubes and picks the lawn hoe back up. Right to the fucking back. Alex kicks a light tube into his back and then walks over and grabs two more. Sanchez is taking light tubes like crazy and we see Alex pick up the beer can and try to twist it to break it but he can't get it. He says fuck it and drop kicks Sanchez. Alex takes a broken light tube and starts carving up Sanchez's back with it. Slowed it down and zoomed in and look at the blood dripping off of Alex's head onto Sanchez's back. This match is so fucking sick and Alex breaks a light tube on his back and then flexes for the fans. Both men stand up to their feet where they exchange blows. Sanchez hits him with a big super kick and then walks over to the side of the ring and grabs some more twos. Sanchez flips Alex over onto his stomach and then lays the light tubes on his back. Double knees right to the fucking back and we see Alex cringing in pain in the corner. Sanchez grabs two handfuls of tubes and goes for another headbutt. Throws the broken light tubes at Alex and then both men take a breather. Alex stands up in the ring and tells everyone to chill for a second. Kicks Sanchez right in the fucking balls and he pulls out a fork and starts stabbing him in the fucking head. Alex licks the blood off the fork like a sick fuck. Could not tell me you don't see that GG Allen resembling. Pounds the fork into his head until it's stuck in his fucking forehead. Bia picks up the kendo stick and hits Sanchez with it. Looks like he's going for another sleeper hole with the kendo stick, but he gives him a Russian leg sweep. Nabiev sits up in the ring and cracks him in the back a few times. Nabiev picks up a light tube and he jacks it off like wife beater used to do and breaks it over his back. Make sure to break every piece of the light tube on his back and then he picks him up and gives him a big back suplex into the sand. Oh. Alex goes for the pin again and gets another two count. Both men sit there on their knees exchanging forearms and then they get tired and start slapping each other in the face. gave it all they had and then all of a sudden Sanchez comes back out of nowhere. After Sanchez is done slapping the living shit out of him, he takes the kendo stick and puts him in a sleeper hold. Sanchez wraps his leg around Alex as he tries to reach over to the barbed wire for like a rope break. Alex finally gets a hold of the barbed wire for the rope break, but the referee tells him it doesn't count, so he's like, fuck. <laughs> Here, Alex coughing, trying to breathe for air as Sanchez starts kicking him in the face. Alex is literally passing out from the sleeper hold, so the referee calls for the bell. Sanchez releases the hold, and the crowd starts chanting his name. We see both men in the ring just covered in fucking blood and Sanchez stands up to his feet and the referee raises his arm in victory. The Italian wrestler Angelo Moretti, Sanchez's original opponent, comes out and starts taunting him. keeps taunting both men and then Alex starts throwing fucking light tubes at him and Sanchez and him reunite in a wholesome deathmatch moment. Yeah. 
Men give each other a quick hug in the ring, and then Sanchez takes a bundle of light tubes and breaks it over his own head. Alex stands back up to his feet and walks over to the barbed wire, and the fan hands him another beer, and he starts chugging it. Sanchez exits the ring, but then he climbs back in and goes back up to Alex to give him another hug and another wholesome deathmatch moment. The men give each other a fist pound and another big hug. Both men celebrate in the ring together and then start to make their way into the back and Alex climbs over the barbed wire and messes with the fans and that's a wrap on this match guys. After the match, we get a promo from Alex on the USA Deathmatch scene. I'm ultra fucking drunk, I'm ultra fucking violence. And you know, I don't give a shit if it's in a fucking backyard, if it's in a fucking packed house, in a feature, in a fucking big crowd. I'm doing what I want to do, and I'm going to do it till the fucking end. You know, USA fucking Deathmatch scene, someday I'm going to reach to your fucking land and I'm gonna bleed all over your fucking land, you know? It's a question of the fucking time when and how I'm gonna fucking bleed and how every of my motherfucking enemies will gonna bleed. I'm gonna kill you all, no matter what, you know? My fucking body is like better shape than I ever fucking had. And I'm gonna kill you all. We fork without fork with my bare fucking hands, you know, with fucking light tubes. You're all gonna die when I'm fucking reach to you, motherfuckers. To top it all off, Alex Nabiev sent me a promo of him and Die Young Sanchez from after the match that was never uploaded to the internet before, and he fucking subtitled it for me. He's such a fucking king. Check this shit out. <laughs> Только кровь и песок, только ямки, но только самые отбитые дерьмо сучары. Чтобы сделать ультраванс, нам нужен ринг, нам нужны канаты, нам нужны лампы просто, и мы это все устроим вам тоже в ту же секунду, ёркина. We're the most fucking ultra violent team in the fucking Russia, and my tongue is fucking split wide open. I am fucking choked up with the bleed, but we're doing it with the fucking beer because we are. Ultra drunk fucking team. team! And you motherfuckers can eat our fucking cock! Oh fuck yeah, I'm literally developing a schoolgirl crush over Alex. I got some sick fucking pictures from the match. Here's a little mini slideshow of them. Oh, 
Also, I just had to ask Alex, what the fuck does it mean when the crowd chants this? Guys yelling Dabude and they're yelling out Messivo. It means there's gonna be a bloody mess or we want blood in American. I just had to ask him that because I always hear them chanting it in Russian death matches. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and also say thank you to Alex Nabia for sending it to me. This man is the fucking future of death matches. we just gotta get him the fuck over here. That day is gonna happen sometime in the future, I don't know when, but it is, and I already told Alex if he does make it over here to come to Florida and he's got a place to stay. Angelo Moretti and Dai Young Sanchez ended up having their match at Blood and Sand 5. Alex told me that his match with Sanchez that I just covered was his favorite match that he ever had with him, and that they're having another barefoot last man standing death match on august 20th i hope you guys enjoyed that dinner and guess what there might be dessert there's a link to my discord in the description of the video it's like a 24 hour death match chat room come check it out if you guys want to see this match without any commentary you could check it out at patreon.com slash blako 561 not only can you see that, but you can see Patreon exclusive matches and videos, the live events that I filmed, including full deathmatch tournaments from this year and last year, shoot interviews, music videos, giveaways, and more. It's also a good way to show me some support because YouTube doesn't let me make a fucking dollar off my videos because they're so graphic. There's more than just insane wrestling on there. There's other insane fucking shit. Here's a clip for an example. Let me show your ass up. That leaves me at my major shout out and special thank you to my Patreon family. That's Wolfie Kohaku, Garrett McNulty, Grant Stoppel, Damian Edgerton, Logan Flanagan, Matt Watts, Thomas Sanchez, It's Stuck Sandwich Film, CL Vision, Crashy, Jack Egan, Benjamin Ayling, Dylan Petrocelli, Yogi Dick, Nicholas Cron, Jeremy McNarley, Martin Guerrero, Jake Steele, Calculating Infinity, Baker, David R., Chris Graham, KJR, Damo, Derek, Human Horror, Silence Enigma, Hizzle Bizzle, Orion Bailey, Evan Davies, my new best friend Christian, Stuart McFerrin, Connor Doherty, Alex Byrne Tattoos, Tracy Warob, Adam. James Kelly, Andy Barr, Trav, Brian Wargotts, Josh Taylor, Ron Major, MP Mandu, Christopher Perellas, Dylan Mullins, Diesel, King 2021, Gabriella Tran, Crackio, John Botterio, Diego Ortiz, Chase Wolf, Brian Culp, Con S95, Tyler Brock, Shane Morgan, Mr. Tobias, Nick Normal, William Sinson, UILNR, Patty Von Clambit, Foros Furros, Bong Studley, Isaac Birdsong, Charbel Kerswani, Grave Memories. As always, I can't forget about my family on the second fucking page. Joe Plaxkowski, Colin Howard, Brent Matty, Element, Guavion, CJ Dickmeyer, Marcus Martin, Tasanjay419, Devour the Dark, Mark Locke, Wayne Conway, Coma Kid, Billy Moulds, Garrett Ramey, Van Murphy, Joshua Reisig, Twisted Insane, Dan Hannix, Gong ZZO, Eich Katzel, Orange Velocity, Baxi, Eric Fenlin, Dees Nuts, Robert Bodenheimer, Matthew Smith, The Whore Master, Andy A, Michael Perry, Dan McGee, Charles Pinkson, Giovanni Zarati, Zay, DEO, and Carson Reed. I love my Patreon family almost as much as that Russian crowd loves yelling out, Dabutek, Messiable. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.